All right, let's talk about programming accessory work for Olympic weightlifting. Now, what is the goal of accessory work in Olympic weightlifting? And my definition is building strong, capable human bodies that are able to do the Olympic lifts by programming things outside of the Olympic lifts. Now, if your accessory work, you know, consists of squats and deadlifts, and that's really about it, there's a big, big opportunity because we need to keep the body strong and healthy to continue to perform the Olympic lifts. Now, Olympic lifts being full body movements, that doesn't mean that things are not likely to get imbalanced. In fact, things get very imbalanced. And that's what we wanna do with our accessory work is we want to bring us some balance in there to keep us going because the more imbalanced we get, the more likely we are to get tweaked, injured, um, or really miss out in some big strength that we could have. Now, when it comes to accessory work, a big question is, do you isolate or do you not isolate certain muscle groups? And it really depends. It depends on the athlete at hand. All of my program, all the programming at Project Lift uh, is very athlete specific. So, you know, we're very individualized coaching here. And what we look at is if someone has an issue controlling a joint, uh, proprioception over a joint, those are awesome opportunities to get more isolated so that they can control that joint to feel that joint without having to worry about everything else going on. But my favorite and what we lean to the most, if that's not the issue, is to do unisolated work, to do things that are working multiple muscle groups at the same time outside of the plane of motion that the Olympic lifts work in. So if the Olympic lifts are all sagittal plane, we want to start getting outside of that plane of motion into the other planes of motion, which has huge benefit for the athlete. So how do you program these into your programming? Now, first I wanna talk about how do you look at your programming? Because here at Project Lift, we look at seasons. We, we, we create seasons for each athlete. And what that means is if they're competitive, then where is their in season? Where are they focused on competition? Where is the Olympic lifts going to be the majority of their training? Where is that time? And then what is their off season, right? You see this in other sports. Hey, here's the baseball season. Well, outside the baseball season is the off season, right? We do that with our athletes because it has huge benefit to being able to program and understand what is their focus at the time. Olympic weightlifting as a sport is very often done just all year round with no intentionality around off season, on season. That's something we decided to change and our athletes have seen great benefits to their strength and their abilities because of it. So if we're in season, the Olympic lifts are honestly done much more and prioritized much more as should be, but accessory work still in there. So it might come in at the end of the program or they might just have a single day in the week where it has all accessories. It depends on the athlete's time and what they're going on specifically with them. Now, when you look at off season, off season, there's going to be less Olympic lifts if we've not even taken them out completely. Right, And this is a great opportunity to strengthen and build an athlete's foundation, which then when they come back to the Olympic lifts, every time with our athletes, they see huge gains because of these off seasons. What's usually missing when it comes to accessory programming is focus on the core and breathing mechanics. So the core and breathing mechanics affect every movement we do, the Olympic lifts and every accessory movement. Now it can be said that every movement we do, every accessory movement we do has an opportunity to also work the core, but typically everybody just isolates the core into some type of crunch or six pack um, you know six pack exercise or you know hey sometimes they'll get into the obliques or a little bit of rotation but there's not a big emphasis on breathing mechanics with it now if we do every exercise with thinking about core pressure, thinking about core position, every exercise becomes a movement that can benefit the core. And that's the way we look at it. That's what we see most uh, missing. So if this has helped you guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, give it a share it forward, pay it forward with a friend and subscribe because new videos are coming each week.